Hello everyone, welcome to the Capricorn Full Moon Report. My name's Hem, I'm the Self Love Self Care System Angel Connector and I do astrological reports for the moons that also have a little twist of angel messages in them and also today I have a tarot card to go with our readings. If you're new to my channel please do subscribe hit the notification bell, come on this journey with me and get to learn all about how your astrological chart may affect you. Other things I want to say, if you are one of my wonderful subscribers, thank you for being here. And anybody who is here watching this now, please hit like, it really helps me to keep this channel going. And anyway, look, without further ado, now, you know I'm him, and you know that I'm the angel connected for self love self care system. I'm going to go into our full moon in Capricorn report. So, I have my paper here. So, if you do hear rustling, please let me off because it's the only way I can do it. It just works for me to have notes that I've created from the chart that I've made, and it means that I can give you a succinct picture of what is going on. So our full moon in Capricorn is on the 3rd of July 2023. The tagline for it is to celebrate your successes for the first half of the year. This full moon in Capricorn is kind of a good one for realising where you've come from and where you're going. It's kind of that six month mark because we're in June. So it's kind of January to June. We've got about that six month mark. And then we've got another six months. It's how are we going to proceed for the rest of 2023? What are we going to be doing? So our happy full moon is on the 3rd of July at 4.38 Pacific time. It's at 12.38 UK time. And it's at 7.38 Eastern time. Our moon is at 11 degrees and 18 minutes. Oh, I've got it down twice. I've got 111 degrees and 18 and 111 degrees and 19. But it is 11 degrees. Okay. Full moons are our chance to release behavior. Things, people, values, etc. that just don't serve us anymore. Okay. A full moon is going to illuminate what's going on. Yeah. With full moon in Capricorn and sun in Cancer, we are balancing out home life and private life and security, which is Cancer, with our public and career life, which is Capricorn, okay? Cancer connects into love, while Capricorn connects into achievement, okay? So Capricorn is all about building for the future. It plans. It takes, it's moving, methodic, it's a methodical sign. It's got Saturn as its ruler. It's methodical. It asks to build something for the long term. It's a deeply responsible sign. That's not to say all Capricorns are responsible. It's to say it's a deeply responsible energy. Cancer may be happy to be dependent. Your Capricorn asks us to be our independent selves. If you have your south, this is a south node, north node thing. It's nothing to do with this full moon, but I just wanted to bring it up, okay? Purely because um, the angels um, kind of tapped me on the shoulder while I was doing the report. Um, and they want me to bring this message, so it may apply to some of you, okay? And you're going to need to find this in your astrological chart, okay? But if your south node is Cancer and your north node is Capricorn, you are literally learning to be your independent self. Of course, as ever, I'm going to talk about balance here. We need to balance out our inner need for comfort and security and that sense of coming home with being independent and getting out in the world. Now, the reason I brought up the north, the, the north node, south node thing, north node's where you're going, south node's where you're coming from, okay? So cancer would be where you're coming from, north node's where you're going from. The reason I brought it up was because often what happens in this balancing act is we get really, really home-centric. We want to be secure. We want to be the crab and hide ourselves in our shells. This isn't going to work. It needs to be a balance of both those polarities, okay? Both those different areas. There will be something emotional about the revelations during this cappy full moon, okay? Think cancer, watery sensitivity, showing you where you've held yourself back and not stepped into your independence, okay? Or the stare of Capricorn's ruler Saturn pointing at you and demanding you to admit that you're working too much because there could be a little bit of too much on either side, okay? It's highlighting on a spiritual level, such as it's it's highlighting spiritual independence, but 
with an opposition from Mercury, the moon is struggling to find its words. So you may need to be careful with regard to that. It's asking you how you feel in the big scheme of things, right? It's saying, what do you feel in the big scheme of things? We're being called to review our year, as I said at the beginning, we're being called to review, to review where, what, what did you think about in January? Where did you want to go? What goals did you put in place? Have any of them happened yet? Or are you still working? Oh, I do sense we're working towards them still, but are you actually working towards them? Or have you um, kind of ignored them and not given them any thought? What do you want to complete by the end of the year? Is there anything that you've done that already requires celebration? Because if there is, Give yourself time for that as well, because it's important that you celebrate your wins. This is really highlighting that before you push forward, because if you don't celebrate your wins, it gets harder to have more wins. OK, Jupiter's at nine degrees Taurus. It's trying the full moon and it's bringing in support on the level of a new beginning. OK, you're being supported in future direction. There is no time like now. OK, but remember, remember, remember. Full moon is about releasing, releasing what doesn't serve you so you can move forward. With Jupiter sextile Saturn, 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 <laughs> retrograde in Pisces, the ruler of Capricorn, and Saturn trine Mercury, there's a gentle looking back and understanding this on a mind level, okay? In some ways, this will assist you to remove the dead wood from your pathway before you move ahead. What hasn't worked and what isn't working okay this is asking you to take your time to build a solid foundation and create an understanding around your opportunities right because it's you can create that base so you can move forward it's asking you to learn in some ways and store this learning that you gain from the inner spiritual truth so you can use it for the future. So he's asking you to understand something, learn from what's happened, and then you can use it as you go through your life. It's a new mindset, a new belief system, removal of a limitation maybe, that's what's going to happen. Saturn in Pisces may look at the things that are not in harmony and make room for you to make sense of them and release them. It's really, really, really key that, you know, it's going to do that for you. The Neptune Pluto sextile is supportive. It will help you to go over what needs to be understood. There's a deep connection to a new start here, ending one level of thought and moving into higher consciousness thinking patterns. There is a level of reinvention being imposed on the level of your spiritual self. This chart totally nods its head at clearing out so you can move forward. It's also, a, it's quite a gentle chart as it is as it goes okay and it means you'll not be pushed too hard lest you're resistant so if you're resistant then you might feel a push you're resisting the truth and the alchemy of the position that we're in then you may feel a little bit overwhelmed okay uranus is at 21 degrees squaring venus and mars you're literally being called to your creative element i'm seeing this as beauty reflected in your home your relationship you're being asked to build and create a balance of a colourful life. Venus asks you what you want to build for your relationship in a public sense and what you want to release. While Mars will lead on the spiritual level of this, and this is the spiritual level of relationship, okay? And the spiritual level of whatever else is going on, okay? There's a sense of something dying out or coming to an end. Is this a behaviour, a way of acting? As in, does this not feel good to me? What doesn't feel good to you? Kind of let that go. Okay. Now, I pulled a tarot card for this full moon. And the tarot card that I got is the Knight of Pentacles. It's really, really interesting because I see this as somehow finances and career are affecting your relationship with your person, whoever they are, whether they're male or female, okay? And this person and yourself are not being able to move up into the energy of sort of that king queen energy, right? That stronger energy. You're kind of stuck in this pentacle, not pentacle, sorry, night energy. So what's going on in this full moon is you're being asked to elevate that, elevate that, and also sort out your career, sort out your finances, and get yourself into a space. 
I do get though, as I'm saying this about this card, that for some of you, this is out of your control. So trust that this full moon will help you to clear it up and to bring through what needs to happen for you. Okay, trust that elevation of your relationships coming and i do see this on the level of relationship despite the fact that it being about money but i see it linked to relationship in relation to money and career okay so this full moon will affect the planets um uh, that are approximately at 7 to 15 to 18 degrees of cardinal signs so these are aries cancer capricorn libra okay so going to affect more if you've got that all right in totality, this moon highlights that we are building something for the future. You need to be happy with yourself, okay? Celebrate the journey that you've taken thus far, okay? You are not done, yet the light at the end of the tunnel is shining, and now you can see it. You're being asked to balance your inner thoughts and your outer thoughts. Make decisions and change what isn't working okay change what isn't working now i also got while i was closing the chart i got these numbers come up and they were five 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 and nine eight six so was five 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 and then nine eight six so i'm seeing this here as five 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 then nine plus eight plus six equals 23 and that also equals five so numerologically the numbers are five 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 so you're being offered a period of deep transformation like that of the butterfly i'm also seeing an ending on some level something completing it's not a wrenching ending it's something completing and finishing that's going to help you to move into financial maintenance i see beauty i see spirituality i see you being able to take care of your needs i also see love connecting in with this number that's come up as well things are coming together and there's going to be a lot of creativity presented to you to be able to fuse and play with so there you go my lovelies that is the capricorn full moon report i do feel that report was a little bit different to usual if you have got to this space and you've got to this part of this video please like this please subscribe please join the party i'd love to have you as part of one of my subscribers also let's do our release questions so for this capricorn full moon it would be really good to ask yourself on the level of your life what needs to go Re level of relationship this is relationship to intimate and to other people who needs to go who needs to be removed and also what situations and experiences in your life are you done with there you go my lovelies do take care have a lovely rest of the week namaste i will speak to you very very soon take care and i'm sending you all lots of love Mwah. bye bye big bye Take care, bye.